Morning, Steve. Morning, Arlen. Morning, Morning. Morning Steve. <laughs> Reverse. Going here then. So, sure, guys, get you to start with some arm circles. So, 20 forward, 20 back. From there, I'll get you guys doing a tricep stretch. So, you're here like this, take your arm up, and then you're just going to pull it on your elbow and lean over slightly. Get you to do maybe a two to three second hold on each side, and then, uh, and then switch sides. And I want you to do five per side, okay? So I've got my little whiteboard here, and uh, uh, yeah. as you can see, today we're doing a fight gone bad. So what a fight gone bad workout is, is basically you're gonna be working for five minutes where you move from one exercise to the next each minute. The only thing that we're gonna tweak here is that here you're doing two times in a row of the prone pull. So the fact the first exercise here is band lateral walks, followed by feet elevated hip thrusts, followed by the prone pull, which you'll do twice. So that's two minutes. And then lastly here we'll do a rolling, we'll do a rolling side plank. So once you guys have done that, I'm gonna get you to do um, standing crunches and I want you to do uh, 30 of those and then I want you to do 15 per side or 30 total lateral uh, lunges. So a lateral lunge looks like this. Here, you'll step up to your side like that and come up. Standing crunches look like this and here with my arms up above or up at my neck, hands at my neck and then I cross over crossover, crossover, and so on. So 30 of each of those. So band lateral walks. If I've got a mini band, I'm gonna put that mini band around my knees, like so. And then I want my knees to be hip width apart. I'm gonna put a bit of outward pressure and I wanna keep that outward pressure the entire time. Then I'll step to my right. I'd say four to five times or whatever it is that you have room for and then swap back to the left and step to the left four to five times back and forth for the duration of the minute. Let's say you don't have a nice, you know, mini band to use. You can also just use a long band. If you're using a long band, it's gonna look something like this. You take this band, you're gonna step inside it. And then what you'll do is you'll bring the band up to your shoulders like this. You're just gonna step, 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 and so on. Again, four to the right, four to the left, whatever amount of steps that you have room for. Next up, we've got feet elevated hip thrusts. So I'm gonna be here. Lying on my back, like so. Put my heels up on the box, and my knees are at 90 degrees. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drive my hips up into the air, and uh, I am activating my glutes and my hamstrings here with this exercise. And I wanna make sure that I don't push forward. I wanna make sure that I drive my heels down into the box, if I push forward that way, my feet start sliding, pushing this way towards the end of the box, this end of the box, you're gonna notice that your torso starts to slide away as you continue to do reps. Okay, once you guys have done the lateral steps, I'll get you to do something like this. You might need to hold on to something or if you can find your balance, what I want you to do is I want you to take and grab your shin and hold it for two to three seconds. Put it back down here, up, two to three seconds. I want you to do 15 there per side. 
So prone pull, I've got my band anchored to a low object, so this is not a low object, but maybe a sofa leg or coffee table leg, something like that. And uh, then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lie prone, face down here, and I'll take, basically I'm doing a pull-up. I'm mimicking a pull-up, just from a lying down position. So I'm squeezing my shoulder blades together, my upper back muscles are engaged here, and I bring the band, but it is right here at the bottom, and I'm reaching up to the top, right? You can see how that mimics the pull. I can also do this with a mini band, okay? I'll put the mini band around my wrist, keep outward tension, and then I'd be here pulling down and so on. I would still be in that lying down position though. You can also use really light dumbbells, the pattern doesn't change. The way the movement looks doesn't change. Um, the dumbbells only make it a little bit different by adding a bit of uh, extra tension on your rear delts. Rolling side plank here finally. The last exercise is going to be having you start in a side plank position. So with side plank, my shoulder is over, directly over my elbow, and then I'll be here off to my side, squeezing everything on the bottom side of my body here. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rotate, put this elbow down, and switch sides. So now everything on the bottom side of my body, on my left side here, is tight, squeezed and tight. And then I'm gonna switch, and switch. Switch, and switch, okay? So I'm rolling back and forth like that. All right, so those are the four exercises. Remember that prone pull, we're gonna do two times in a row. I'll get you guys to grab your mini bands or whatever variation of the band lateral walk you are doing. Okay. Five, four, three, two, one, and go. So if you do have questions, if you're watching this as a replay later, you can always uh, send questions to results at belifestrong.ca uh, or steven at belifestrong.ca or reach out to whichever coach you um, know the best, I guess. <laughs> um, we are also starting outdoor workouts now. So if you are able to attend those, that is a very, very cool thing that we're starting to be able to do. And uh, we're excited to be able to deliver that. Um, we've got a Facebook group, if you didn't know. We can uh, do some different stuff there. Memes and food that you're eating and stuff like that. Uh, guys, let's switch over to feet elevated hip thrusts here. All right, go. Like I was saying earlier, the feet elevated hip thrust is an exercise where you're contracting your glutes, contracting your hamstrings mainly. It's really nice for, for developing strength in your glutes in a position where you aren't actually like loaded up with weight. Um, you're just using gravity, right? You're pushing against gravity. 
All right, guys, switch it up. We're doing prone pull. Let's go. So it's really good, um, or it's a way to get good technique practice for what happens when you're doing, for example, like a deadlift. I'm, I'm, I'm still talking about the feet elevated hip thrusts, by the way. Um, right, because when I'm in that lying down position, my hips are, are back and my knee, legs are up on a box and I would be fully at 90 degrees, but then I squeeze my glutes, right, and get that forward and back hip action happening, similar to when you're doing a deadlift or even a squat, really. But when you're doing a deadlift, I get that forward and back action through the hips, which moves my torso up and down, which then moves the weight up and down. Next minute here, guys. Second minute of prone pulls. It's awesome because the prone pull is one of those exercises that works your upper back and um, it can be hard to do that in like a, a bands, body weight, at home type thing, especially if you don't have, you know, a pull up bar or, uh, or some of like the cable machine type stuff that, that it is nice to have, that are nice to have, I suppose. I haven't had enough coffee. All right, guys, let's get ready for rolling side plank here. Go. Ten more seconds here, guys, and then we're going to rest a minute, and we're going to be repeating this two more times. And rest. Okay, grab some water, take a short break here. Do, do, do. Steve? Yep. Can you give me an alternative to the rolling side plank, please? My shoulders, it's not good. Yes, yep. Yeah. So for the rolling side plank, what you can do is uh, something like this. I'll get you here. Either you can hold the side plank, and that's fine. So I'll call it halfway then, if you want to. Uh, another option would be what you can do here is something like this. So you're lying here, and then all I want you to do is I want you to just kind of lift your leg and down. So you notice that in this case it's straight with a bag clamp shell, it wouldn't be, right? So you just kind of go like this and so on, okay? Thank you. Yep, no worries. All right, guys, we're gonna start our next minute here really shortly. Five, uh, hold on, five, Four, three, two, one, and let's go. Keep your feet hip width apart or wider the entire time. Try and keep the feet. You don't want to have your legs. You know, you don't want to be knock kneed like this or, or here, right? Because there's no tension here. You always want to be about hip width apart and then step too wider and then to hip width and then to wider and then to hip width. 
and so on. All right, guys, let's get ready for the next exercise here. Feet elevated hip thrusts again. And we're going to go here in five, four, three, two, one, go. All right, guys, let's start getting switched over to the prone pull here. And let's go. So I'm going to demo the prone pull with the dumbbells here. See, I would really, really recommend that you do not use a heavy weight here. There's a very, very difficult position to do heavy weight from with this exercise. So I'm what I'm doing is I'm tightening up my glutes here, keeping my hips pressed against the floor, and then I'm kind of bracing through my big toe on either foot. And then from here, I'm gonna lift up and pull down. I'm over hip. Pull down. Over head. Then pull down. Overhead. Pull out. Uh, that's for the next minute of prone pulls. Keep going. Right. So because of the nature of the weight now pulling against my, my rear delt and uh, well even my scapular uh, upper back muscles pulling down specifically it adds a little bit more tension back here, right? Um, whereas if you're using the band and you're doing the prone pulls with just the band, there's no tension or there's no real significant pressure downward. Um, so it's just a matter of engaging the muscles that would pull you vertically, not the muscles so much that would pull you um, forward if you were in a standing position or down since you're in that lying down position. But let's say you can't do, you don't have, you can even do this body weight, realistically, you know, here. I mean, all right, guys, switch it over to the rolling side plank or variation of your choosing there. We'll give it a couple seconds here. All right, 10 more seconds here, guys. And then we're gonna rest for a minute. All right, and rest. Okay, you got one minute time to rest here. Grab some water, shake it out a little bit. Then we're gonna go into band lateral walks one last time. I'm actually gonna grab some water myself.
All right, guys, 10 seconds. Let's get ready to do the band lateral walks last time. Three, two, one, and go. Nice work, guys. The steps are looking real good. Big, intentional, dedicated steps. All right, guys, let's get ready to do feet elevated hip thrusts here. And go. Feet elevated hip thrusts. All right, guys, let's get ready to do the prone pull here. And go. All right, second round of prone pulls here in two, one, and go. Okay guys, let's get ready for rolling side plank here. We're just about done. For the variation of your choosing. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Just about done here, guys. We got 
10 seconds left. Three, two, one, and rest. All right, guys, grab some water, take a short break here. I'm gonna demo the finisher. So the finisher is gonna be, is this, it's this green part here at the bottom. Um, so you can see that basically it goes two slash four slash six slash eight slash 10 slash 12. That's an odd looking 12 there, but whatever, that's 12 and 14. And you've got two exercises here, burpees and gorilla rows. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna do two burpees followed by two per side gorilla rows. Then you do four burpees and then four gorilla rows. And then six burpees and six gorilla rows and so on. You are gonna do continue for, the, for, for a five minute timer and you're gonna keep adding two reps each round continually until that five minutes is up, okay? So even if you make it past 14, which I've got written here, right? Right there, you just would add two to the next round, you do 16 and then two to the next round, do 18 and so on. Um, so what, what is a burpee? Well, burpee is an explosive-ish type exercise where I'm gonna come down from a, from a standing position, I'm gonna come down to a plank. So it looks something like this. I'm gonna show you the hop variation, but you can also just step back. So the hop, I reach down, hop back, right? Back up, and then hop up, right? Down, and that would be two burpees. So you can also do a step back variation. So I will reach down, step back, step it up, and then hop, like so, okay? So now that I've done my two burpees, I can grab a weight, either a kettlebell or a dumbbell, and I'll do a gorilla row. So with a gorilla row, I've got the weight between my feet here to start, and then I'm gonna sit back in my hips, and I'm gonna row once, twice, once, twice, here in round one. So I'll show you that again, and then I'll go back to the burpees, but I'll show you here the exercise from the side. So I don't want to be like this, right? As you can see, I've got my spine and my back all around. I want this to be here like this. Sitting in my hips, one, two, other side, one, two, and then I will go into the burpees again for the next round. So with that said, let's do the Jacob's ladder finisher here. Right, so if the burpees just don't work for you, all I want you to do is just do box squats. That's fine as well. So you just do like this, and that's all good. You kind of come down, one, two, and that's just gonna be a little bit lower intensity. And uh, work with that, and that's all good. So, let's get started here. Five, four, three, two, one, and go. Nice work, guys. Something I will uh, make as a note because of the uh, updates to the, like there's now outdoor workouts. Tomorrow at 9 a.m., Carrie is running an outdoor workout here at Rise. Um, so if you are, uh, well, basically you can sign in 
VR Mind Body app. And then you would come and we'll do a parking lot outdoor workout here. And uh, it, it is a new addition to the schedule in terms of the day that it's on, right? We haven't had Saturday workouts before for the time that we had the virtual stuff running. Um, for right now, we are, gonna, we are gonna continue doing virtual for the next while yet, um, but we're just gonna try and start integrating more and more outdoor workouts and hopefully as the, as the BAM um, lifts or the mandate lifts, we can start pulling things in the facility, which would be amazing. That's the halfway point there, guys. We got two minutes, 30 seconds done. And we're going to five minutes. Nice rose there, Arlen. Rolling it up like a beast, man. That's awesome. Minute and a half left here, guys. We are just about done. Keep it up, guys. That's what we got. One minute left. One minute left here. We're just about done with this. What round are you in, Arlen? Never mind. I'll count it out here. Two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five. Nice rows. What six? There we go. Six beauty. Seven, seven, eight, eight. No, oh, ho, ho, nice. Nine, nine, you're around five, ten, and ten. Woo! Guys, you got a little less than ten seconds left here. Three, two, one, fantastic, awesome job guys. Boom, Arlo's looking at his heart rate. It just says maxed out. <laughs> nice job, Chris. All right, so guys, we'll do a little cool down here. And uh, we'll start with torso twists. Here, hold on, let me make myself the main screen here. Right, just gonna start here like this. And then you don't want tons of rotation through your lumbar spine here, right? So what I'm doing is I'm thinking mainly about rotating through my T-spine. So I'd say about rib cage and up. That's where I'm really getting rotation from. I mean, there's gonna be a little bit of slight rotation through my hips, but that both are fine. But like, I don't want, I don't want to be, you know, a human corkscrew. That's just weird. I know. And who am I to say what's weird, right? 
Everybody's thinking, yeah, you're the one to talk. Okay. So from there, guys. Get down to our hands and knees like this. And then I'll get you to take your right arm and I'll get you to bring it underneath, put it down on the floor, lean away, and just get a stretch through your lat. And back up, other side, left palm down, lean away. Back, other side again, here. Back, other side. And back. All right, from there we're lying down on our backs. Here like this. And extend one leg out. Bring one leg up to 90 like this here, and then I'm gonna reach my left hand on the outside of my right knee. My right arm is gonna extend out to my side. I'm gonna take a big breath in, and then I'm gonna exhale, I'm gonna rotate through and over like so. And we'll take four to five big breaths here. All right, good stuff. Let's do the other side. So left leg, right hand on the outside of the left leg here, and the left arm out to the side, and rotate. And good, okay. From there, we'll get up to so see a position like this. We're gonna do what's called a 90 90 stretch. So I'm gonna bring my right leg forward. It's gonna be here at 90 degrees, like this. And my left knee back also at 90. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold my torso over my forward face leg here, like this. And gosh, all oh, that really is tight. So that's all I got. Keep it pulled over further. Who knows? There we go. And there, sides, like this, here. So left foot is at 90 degrees here. And right foot is also back at 90 degrees. And then I'm gonna come over, fold over that hip.
we're going to call it a day there, guys. Awesome work. Thanks for coming out. We appreciate your time. Hopefully the weather is a little bit warmer than what it's being forecasted as. So that'd be great. But uh, regardless. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, have a good one.